The PR team is looking at the rumours and inhabited. Your goal is to build an unmanned probe chock full of scientific instruments to explore. Disprove this dumb spider theory once and all. Uh, fly th orbit, orbit Duna over the North Pole. Transmit fly over the South Pole. Do and transmit Duna 4 crashed in zone or fly through. Yeah, the, the antenna add by the square, like they add by the sum of squares rule, I believe. Okay. Let's see, you build the probe, even though I warned you about the Duna threat. At least no Kerbinaut will risk his life on this nonsense of a mission. Let's hope you won't stumble onto any giant robotic spiders there, or they might find a way to track us back here. First, let's reach parking orbit. Uh, Apple apps and Perry apps. You gotcha. No problem. Come on. <laughs> I'm actually wearing my check your staging shirt right now, by the way. And the funny thing was, was a bunch of people commented on it. It was like, that's a great SpaceX shirt you've got there. And I'm like, Yes, it is, but it's not a SpaceX shirt. Thinking that we might just reach 200 kilometers with this. Oh, look at that. Exact, almost exactly, right? I'm just going to leave this thing pointed in that direction and deploy this. We are just fine. I'm just going to keep pointed that way. Uh, we can actually deploy solar panels, right? And the space probe, I'm going to have it automatically hibernate in warp. And the antenna, I'm actually going to extend so that we have readings from it. Let's put those numbers up there so we can keep them. <laughs> you know, when you're an engineer, you end up wanting to try everything. So... If people are suggesting there is a chance that your rocket exploded because somebody shot it, then there will be plenty of volunteers to actually test that out. I mean, even in software engineering, we've got like some crazy question of what's going on with a particular problem, and I am I have no shortage of ideas for how to fix the the problem that I'm observing. Just get this as close to circular as possible. That That's close, like plus or minus one kilometer. Now you've reached orbit, we're aiming to reach Dunas Soy. Plan the maneuver carefully, you don't want to end up aero braking on Jewel. Uh, there's an idea. I should challenge myself, it'd be cool if this mission actually had bonus points for accidentally aero braking on Jewel. So yeah, look, it looks like they've actually got the transfer window set up, which is kind of cool. Set as target. Why can't I... Why can't I make a maneuver node here? <laughs> Am I missing something? Have I forgotten how to make maneuver nodes? So I guess I'm just going to have to eyeball this thing. Okay. That'll be fun. So what we need to do is wait until we're about here and then we'll just burn and see where it gets us. I think it's pretty hilarious that I just get to do it. The new update is broken. Whatever. Bugs happen. Set as target. I'm totally gonna eyeball my way to Duna, right? 
That's just how I roll. Remember the days when we had to do these interplanetary maneuvers before they had maneuver nodes? I don't know, I, was, were any of you playing Kerbal Space Program at that time when we didn't have maneuver nodes? I remember when we didn't have the orbit projection and I flew to the moon. You think, I, I think we'll, that'll be kind of funny if we get a moon encounter, but don't worry. We will spend some time in vicinity of Duna there. Come on, give us... Oh! Okay, look, we're getting pretty close there. Let's get as close as it will let us. Oh, so nice! 300, 200, 100... 90. Oh! 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 <laughs> and to be fair... To be fair, they did set us up with a really good transfer window. So, me being able to make this happen purely by guessing it is... <laughs> it is it's really because they set it up very well. I want to get as close as possible so that I need the least amount of Delta V to get into that orbit. Okay, here we go. Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Back to normal. Oh, yes. People are talking about their uh, old computers, talking very specifically about an alpha CPU server. I used to have an alpha CPU desktop that I ran Linux on because I was weird. I spent forever hacking Quake to run on that. Uh, just a little lower than I, ex I needed to be. Just a touch. See it? Do you see those pixels dancing? The aliasing giving away the location of this red planet. No, that's not spiders. That is merely the twinkling of uh, pixel sampling. Wow, I can't believe you actually made it. Well done. Before running your experiments, put Duna, Duna 4 into a 64 kilometer orbit. Circular orbit. Why do I only have limited probe control? Probably because it is hibernating right now, right? Um, time to periaps. 34 minutes. And we're moving about 1,200 meters per second. Oh man, this is always so beautiful watching a planet come into view. Let's start firing these engines now. To slow myself down and get captured. So I need to be in a 60 kilometer orbit. There's Ike. That should be pretty close, right? Is it within the limits? 5%, 68%? Yes, there we go. Well done! We'll start with a little flyby over the equatorial region to see if we see anything of interest. You should also conduct and transmit a science report. You can do it with any of your scientific devices because we have lots of them. Continue. Max out 80,000. Okay, so we're flying through that. So we should have done both of these now. Check prefer for performing a science experiment. Perform a science experiment! Collect temperature. Yes. Transmit. Excellent! Wait, 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 wait! Everybody knows that the giant robotic spiders live at Duna's poles. Something about the ice and the magnetic field. Change your inclination to fly over the North Pole region right away. Go ahead and construct, uh, try and conduct and transmit a science report there too. Can't overlook any clues that we could get with those scientific gizmos. So... And that's us out of fuel there, so... 
Um, oh, that's interesting. Ah, that's it there. Hello, Care Bear Cannon. Live long and prosper. Note that I'm doing that with my left hand because I am a Star Trek pro and I can do it both with my le right hand and my left hand, right? Okay, so now we are... Ch fly through South Pole and... Or fly through... Wait, South Pole? Fly through North Pole. Let's get over that North Pole. Um, so Nemo Consequente, you are absolutely right, but the interview... So Nemo Consequente, basically Leonard Nimoy, somebody saw him at lights... And I think what they said was they tried to do it, and they didn't say that they do it with a lisp. They said they do it with an accent. That's the quote that I remember. No trace of the giant robotic spiders yet. This could only mean one thing. They're, fly they're lying at the South Pole. Yes, I st I'd speak it with an accent. That was straight after the episode that introduced these, uh, the... The Vulcans, and it was Tapau, I think, was the alien. And the reason I remember that the leader or the religious leader of the Vulcans was Tapau was because it was a band that took that name, and they did kind of very eighties, you know, you know, long haired rock. It was a woman that was sing, and I remember they were produced by the same guy that was the engineer for Bohemian Rhapsody, Roy Thomas Baker. I just remember all this crap because I remembered that the name came from Star Trek, right? <laughs> So, yeah. Carol Decker, she was... Yes, Heart and Soul! That was a fantastic record! I can happily enjoy cheesy 80s rock tunes, right? As much as I can enjoy amazing <laughs> uh, radio and raising rave tunes and happy hardcore and everything. It's all good. Log the temperature. Transmit data. All right, knock it off. There's no evidence of any giant robotic spiders. And there never was. We can't let paranoid delusions dictate our scientific agenda. Otherwise, we'll never make any real progress. Still, you collected some great data from around Duna. And we have enough to spend months analyzing it. Spiders or no, this was valuable. It's time to let Duna 4 take a well-deserved rest. Crash it in the names of science and do it extra points. Wait, I have to crash it? I have to crash it in that ex I can't land it? Come on, really? Okay, where's the... I know, look, they would happen to put the landing site there. <sighs> the radius is 50 kilometers, so I think I can probably kill that velocity. I don't know, I actually know how quickly I can kill it. But I'm gonna drop straight down, right? I just need to get overhead and then just kill my velocity. I wish it would tell me how far away this target is. Okay, let's just do retrograde now. Stop, drop, and boom. Boom, 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 boom. I want you, what? Oh my God, wait, what? Is it possible to have a mission fly through the moon or arches? I have done it on more than one occasion at orbital velocity. There's a video I posted called Threading the Needle Challenge. Okay, that's us coming down in roughly the right place. So how close can I get to this target, do you think? Oh look, I'm flying through! Oh! I don't know how close I am anyway, but let's try and crash into the surface. See what happens. How many pieces survive? Make place your bets now. Oh, brilliant. Success! I got myself a gold. That's rare because I frequently don't actually get gold medals in these things. 
I got 2,000 points for accurately crashing. I got points for flying through. I get points for South Pole, North Pole. Like, what's not to like? Let's take a look at the other bits as they fly through the air on their final moment of glory. Oh, it's gone. Anything else? We have a solar panel. And we have another solar panel. And that is it. It is now truly dust to dust. You know what? What is it? David Bowie, ashes to ashes, funk to funky. We know Major Tom's crashed on Duna, right? I'm going to say uh, goodnight, farewell. Thanks very much for tuning in. I will see you around. Fly safe! <laughs>